All right, so we've actually been at the Airbnb for uh, quite a while. Uh, we got here, it's, went straight to the bed. <laughs> I haven't slept since, you know, waking up at 4 a.m. Luca kind of started fussing a little bit a few minutes ago and we started to feed him. Uh, and I think you can tell that like the, with the local anesthesia they put on him is like uh, wearing off because he's like trying to drink and then he kind of starts crying a little bit. So I'm thinking that maybe while he's like using his tongue or something, uh, it just kind of hurts him. He stops feeding and he's okay and he's chill. So we'll see, we'll see how tonight goes. Hopefully it won't be as bad. We are trying this other kind of more of a remedy thing. And so that should be, hopefully that helps him. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey, mama. Like a little swollen, but yeah, he was he was uh, pretty okay. He just woke up right now, but he ate from this side and he was like there for like 20 minutes, uh, which I know like part of it, it was just kind of nursing. But um, he was eating fine at the beginning, but after a bit, he just starts whimpering like a little puppy. He would just go like <laughs> and like start crying, and uh, so I would try to comfort him, and then he would kind of like eat again for a bit, and then same thing. So after a while, he just kind of unlatched and started crying, and I started like soothing him for a bit. Offered him the other breast, but he didn't want it. So I don't know. I feel like that's kind of gonna be how it's gonna be all night. Like he's gonna eat for a bit, kind of rest for a bit, eat for a bit. So kind of like a little cluster nurture feeding. <laughs> but we have this here. Hope we didn't bring the, the charger for this, and I'm really hoping it can last. I know. Oh, I better have a boquita. They just can't. Yeah. I mean, he has like pretty like big lips, but I feel like right now he has, it does have him swollen. He's just like, don't touch me. Okay. It's gonna be okay. She, the doctor did say that the first three days were the hardest. So. Yeah. Prepare yourself for sleepless nights. <laughs> Hey, good morning. The night actually wasn't so bad, um, but I'm gonna wait for Pili to kind of give an update on that. But Luca's getting his exercises done right now, and I actually wanted to film that and show you guys. Um, it kind of breaks our heart, because he's like cries all crazy. <laughs> I did his first exercises. It's hard because see, like I try to do like the lip, but como está llorando, since he's like crying, like he stretches his whole mouth. Mm -hmm. He didn't like the the ones from the. They're supposed to kind of help him and like relax him. Uh, so I use a little bit of coconut oil on the outside and he didn't like that <laughs> But it does feel like super tense like right here like in the cheekbones like almost like when you have like a Like a tight knot like in the back mm -hmm. It kind of feels like right here. I kind of want to go like that I don't know if I can though, but yeah, I just do like what what the doctor told me and she, He didn't really like that, but he seems chill now. He's okay all right so i guess we'll do an update in the car uh because we need to get out of here check out the 11 i think it's like in 15 minutes or something like that so we need to get a move on peace what's up guys so we are out of the airbnb stopped at ihop of course because grandma over here loves it my case oh look at that i hope 
Mi comida preferida, de <ríe> Kai Hop, de su papá y mío, me encantaba comer su papá y a mí los pancakes y los blanquillos del omelette de Kai Hop. Kai Hop. Kai Hop. Kai Hop. She calls it Kai Hop. Um, sí. Yeah, it's like our favorite restaurant. So, uh, how was last night? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought he was going to be like crying, like unconsolably crying. But no, he was pretty chill. Like he did have some gas still, so he gets really uncomfortable and can't really sleep or sleeps for like little tiny bits. But um, for the most part, like he was pretty good. And um, it's amazing to have a grandma. <laughs> Because uh, she was with him for like uh, the first part of the night until like three, and then from three on, like I had him. But um, but so I was able to sleep like a good while, and she would just wake me up to like feed him. And after like he was fed, he's, she's like, "I'll get him." Like you go to sleep, right? So that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> My part of it, like he did sleep like a good while, um, maybe like two and a half hours. But yeah, he's been super chill actually. Right now, though, he hasn't been able to latch that well. Like yesterday, he was um, like latching and eating, like a good nursing session. Right now, he's just doing like a couple minutes at a time. So I don't know, but he's like out. So look at this guy. Look at this cutie booty. Like he still has a little bit of like his um, oh, the blisters. His little, oh, blisters, yeah, blisters in his little mouth. And right now it just feels like his mouth is kind of like I don't know what I'm doing with this. He's still trying to figure things out. Yeah. But so. that's good. The night wasn't as bad as we thought it would be, so I'm happy yeah. about that. Yeah. I mean, we still have a ways to go, so let's see how everything goes. But yeah, that was it wasn't bad. So I'm excited. I'm ready to go home though. Ready to go home. I, I was telling Billy that I I remember I woke up like because I, I remember Billy and I like she woke. I went to bed like around 12 and then I remember I was there in bed for a little bit. My mom came to get Billy and then Billy left and then she came back and that was like maybe around almost one or later. I passed a little bit past 12 and and then we like fell asleep. So I was like, okay, I remember, I remember that. And then I just remember I opened my eyes and it was, next thing you know. yeah, next thing I know, I opened my eyes and it was bright out and I'm like, oh wow, like he slept through the entire night. like that's awesome like i can't believe it yeah, that, and then hashtag dead life right? hashtag dead life and then uh, i turn around and billy was not there <laughs> and i'm like oh <laughs> what happened i felt like i missed out on everything it was like complete fomo uh he did so yeah i guess mo i mean yeah i guess i did miss out on some stuff but i guess it wasn't as bad as you know right no he really just wanted to be held for most of it so he was just like this either with grandma or with me nice all right so we'll be getting there by around seven we should be getting there around yeah 7 p.m so hopefully that does happen yeah. okay all right see you peace home. out guys okay. see you home steroids is because they want to break records mm -hmm. and that's, a, that's another interesting thing about uh, animals Four moments later so hey guys it's been a few days and um, since the surgery and we are on our way to his first follow-up appointment with dr. Sabrina Rebollar she is a speech pathologist and we are so excited I'm so excited to really see how what she says like assess him after the surgery and help us see like if we're doing the exercises correctly uh, we've been doing like three to four a day so so far I think it's okay I do see and I will talk a little bit more about this later like some of the things that I've seen so far in like changing in breastfeeding but I feel like we're not 100% there just yet I know that it's it takes a while and I know that's most um, everything that I read it said like maybe like a month to two months later is when you really see like a hundred percent difference but we do know that like I do see and feel a difference with him um, so yeah we're on our way over there and this guy really needs to eat already so let's see how he does Alright little buddy, time to roll.
Okay, okay, yeah, because yeah. we've been like, we've been doing maybe like three for sure. Today, yesterday we did four, and then today we're, we'll okay. be four as well. So I may change it just on what okay. I feel with baby. Okay. Because I do, I believe in frequency over like for a long time, like just spreading it out. You just have a yeah. better outcome. I mean, either way, I think we're doing it the way like you showed us. Yeah. Um, she kind of just, she mentioned it and she kind of like, about it, but didn't oh, really she didn't like show you anything show you. or go no. over it. Okay, then we no. should be on a good path then. And I'll just jump in. Hey, what's going on, everybody? We just got back from visiting Sabrina, um, our speech pathologist. Yeah. Uh, and that was actually really crazy. <laughs> You know, we, we've actually been doing the exercises and uh, I guess we kind of realized that maybe we weren't really doing them the best way. Basically. Yeah, because yeah. like she's really telling us to like really get in there and you guys saw her like really get in there and just like flip that thing up. And man, I was like, whoa, <laughs> we were not. I mean, I, I wasn't, you know. Yeah. And usually <laughs> I'm a little bit more of like, yeah, like, you know, like, let's just do it. Like, I know it's good for him. Like. Yeah, he's crying, but I usually can like, you know, yeah. that. But right now, I don't know what it was, but like my heart just went like, like a little chicken. Yeah. And I was like, I can't do it. I know. So I'm glad we stepped yeah, in. Yeah, I kind of stepped in and did that. And um, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty hard for me too, because he's like crying and then he, and then afterwards he's just like. I know. Like his little I face. <laughs> But like, okay, so I, I, later I was like, okay, if I were to do it, like, it doesn't hurt me. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, I know it's like he's more sensitive because he just had the surgery, but it shouldn't really like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really hurt. hurt yeah. Right? I mean, at least that's what we hope, right? I mean, he probably does feel uncomfortable, but um, we're hoping that it doesn't like literally hurt him. Yeah. Um, so anyway, and then the other shocker that she gave us was that the doctor in Houston told us to do it five times shoot for five but if you do at least three you're okay and she's like no i want you to do eight to ten times and it's like what <laughs> and she was like every time you feed and i was like i really don't want to do them at night and usually i feed like around like seven to eight times but that that's counting like three times at night yeah. so i'm like i really don't I know. Like, so then that just gives us like the five. Yeah. So, I don't know, she was like, okay, well maybe then from eight every two to hours. ten, yeah. every two hours, that way you will do at least eight. Yeah. And we're like, what? <laughs> I know. So yeah, so we're going to try really hard, we need to figure that out. Um, but I, I feel like, sorry? I was going to say, she did tell us like, when we were doing, like talking about the surgery, she did say like, the only downside is for parents, the mental aspect of it. Yeah, because it is pretty intense, guys. Um, yeah. And so, at least I do feel a little bit better doing those exercises. I did get to do them and she kind of coached me on like how to do it. Because before, like I said, we weren't really doing it correctly. Like she wants to get in there and like lift that thing and then do like the whole swipe. And, so yeah. I had a, we haven't been doing the swipe and mm -hmm. the doctor in Houston didn't say that we should, but it is written in like instructions. So I'm yeah. glad we went through that. Yeah. So um, she said for sure to do eight to 10 in the next seven days. And then across from that, like after those seven days, you know, we can kind of tone it down a little bit, but to really make sure, because if not, like the, the skin, or I don't know what it is, will actually start to regrow. And everything that we did was just be pretty much, you know, worthless. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah we would have to do it again. And yeah. like, we really don't want to do that. For sure. So I guess uh, we're gonna try our best to do that. Oh uh, gosh, it still feels a little crazy, but hopefully, you know, we just need to get into the mindset and the habit of, of just doing it. So yeah. yeah. And thinking, I think like in the like future, like he's gonna be okay. Yeah. Like this is for his own good. Cause it's not just like for him feeding right now, but we know that it does have like great, like consequences down the line. For sure. So like for him to be able to like speak better and have mm -hmm. like better dictation and just like she was telling us like the tongue is connected all the way down to your toes 
Like, I didn't know what? that. That's crazy. Yeah. So, like, everything is so interconnected that, every, like, doing all of these exercises right now is going to help him down the line. Like, For sure. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's good the mindset. To know. <laughs> that definitely will help uh, when yeah. we're doing the exercises. And then, so how has he been these past uh, few days? It's so, been, yeah, yeah few days it's now. been a few days. It's been maybe like four days now, mm-hmm. right? And, uh, so I knew that there, I mean, as much as I hoped, I knew there wasn't, it wasn't going to be like a day, night to day difference, but I do see like subtle changes. Mm-hmm. So one of the biggest ones that I've seen is that, um, after he would feed, well, the first one off the bat is that like once when he was feeding, he would make so many noises. Oh yeah. Like the, click, uh, the, the clicking, clicking or like the, the whining, sucking, like the, and the whining yeah. and aching. Cause he would fuss and nag. He was like, like if literally he was being tortured I'm like dude what's going on yes <laughs> yes and so we learned that, that that was because he's so tense that he's using like all of his muscles and it is like getting him so tired that it hurts because mm-hmm. i thought it was just hurting me you know like you hear of like nipple trauma or whatever and i thought it was just hurting me i didn't know it was hurting him too yeah so that's crazy. as a mom it just kind of makes you feel like okay no like we need to do something about this right for sure uh so that was the first off the bat like he's not doing those noises anymore um the second thing to that was like the gas and like the colic and the hiccups right after the feed especially like if he would feed okay. and then kind of fell asleep for a little bit so you think like okay this is perfect i'm just gonna put him down on his little bed and uh hello hiccups yeah and hello like reflux and he would just kind of like have all the reflux like come back and so now i'm seeing the difference that it's less and less Mm -hmm. so that is so good for sure for me so that's already a win because he can actually rest after being fed especially at night yeah for sure i don't have to be like with him like 30 minutes with him like straight so he can kind of like pass everything and then put him down for sure so Uh, those are like the two biggest ones yeah and then we've still been trying to figure out like latching and kind of feeding him correctly and i think we actually came across like a godsend right yes so uh i follow like a bunch of like accounts on instagram right and one of them uh had like a everything that has we've been doing (laughs) that we've be like to help him get better has been through instagram Instagram. this is why when people say like no stop the algorithm stop the advertising the tracking i'm like no dude i love being tracked yes yeah okay maybe not maybe not yeah yeah. 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 but you get what i mean right yeah like I, i love the fact that like they are customizing stuff to me like i'm also i also just sent you like an ad on probiotics for babies oh, nice. and gut health and it's so interesting like i want to know that like yeah. if i wasn't being tracked for sure yeah. <laughs> i mean tracked you know my social media presence so sabrina was you know through i mean i guess it wasn't an ad but it was just kind of like instagram posting stories and then a connection and then this other lactation consultant was through what yeah, so I follow a bunch of accounts, and one of the accounts that I follow, they had her as a live presenter. Like, mm. they do, like, lives every Monday. Yeah. And so she was one of them. And, you know, because I'm in this, like, mindset of, like, breastfeeding, I saw what, like, they were going to talk about. I was like, oh, my God, I need to watch this. And so the live had already happened, but they had it as a yeah. IGTV. So I watched it. It's an hour-long video, and I was, like, mind blown. I was like, yes. Like, this explains everything so well. I think yeah. the name of her business is Nurture Young. Um, and so, I don't know, it just, like, made sense to me. Like, as I was, like, listening to it, it was, like, the the reflexes that the babies are born with, the latching. Mm-hmm. Um, I was telling Luis, like, and I think I had mentioned this before, like, he opens up his mouth like this and that I need to put all my, like, breasts in there. And so it was, like, the gaping, I would just, like read like all you have to do is put the the breast on, like under like the nipple onto their nose and they'll yeah. open and they'll open automatically and i was like no he's not doing that <laughs> like i don't know what else to do and she explains it like no it's not that nipple to nose like nipple to nose is the second thing but it's like chin like putting the chin first and then they'll open up yeah and the the chin essentially initiates the reaction to like open Open. their mouth and then and then once they open it it's like then you can like latch on yeah and so i've been trying that since last night that was just last night and we've had like three really good feeds one of them not so much but like three really good ones where like 
he like I didn't even have to pump before because I had such a hard like letdown. Yeah, I didn't have and to that was one of the things she said too. It's just like you're not if you have such a hard uh, a really hard letdown, you know, that it's not you shouldn't really be pumping before feeding him because you're helping him compensate overcompensate. Yeah, is that the, is that the right compensate, way of saying? Yeah. yeah, compensate for it. So like you have to let him learn how to like deal with that right is that kind of what she was saying that you know like if they have like a good latch and a good mobility and their tongue mm. is like open enough which is what we did like yeah. we took off the tie so now his tongue is like yeah. ready to actually do the movements that needs to be doing which is kind of like a, this type of movement mm -hmm. so he can handle the letdown yeah. no matter how strong it is yeah so I'm like, oh my God. And Sabrina and, did tell us too, like yeah. the tongue is ready to go. Yeah. And that's actually been a really big game changer for us. I mean, granted, we just found out last night and then Billy just literally did it a few, maybe like a few minutes ago and it actually worked. But it's such a big game changer because, you know, she had to wake up in the middle of the night. She had to, pump, like he's already like flipping out. Well, not all the time, but you know, yeah. he's like already like he Starts wants to, to eat. Up. Yeah and uh we like billy had to do like five minutes of like pumping she has to get up she has to like get all the you know, all the you know things to do the pumping and then five minutes of pumping and then she can come and feed him so it's like this whole ordeal and even yeah. on our trip right on our trip she had to pump beforehand and then we had to feed him so it's just so time consuming and yeah. the fact that we're finding a way around that to you know to o overcome it i guess uh, has really been a, a big game changer. And just making sure that like he's getting what he needs. Now, the other big changer that he she did say, and um, I guess this is more on me, that, you know, don't wait till your baby's like giving you the, the hunger cues, hmm. but rather like make sure that you are giving him food when he's feedable. So like, yeah. kind of like when you are like, oh, you know, I'm kind of hungry, I could eat, and you have a good meal rather than, I'm hungry and like I'm desperate. So yeah. that's when like the latching won't occur as well. Like you're gonna have these issues. Like he's concerned and of course like it's such a like a stressor to me when he's like crying and I can't get it right and I wanna give it give him what he needs but I can't and he's like stressing so I stress <sighs> <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> actually was it last night or the night before i just gave gave you like luke i was like can you just handle him like i need a, a moment yeah to compose myself because then if not i'm also transferring this is like energy transfer that For is sure. between him and me and it's For just sure. a cycle <laughs> yeah so i think uh i think that kind of wraps it up um i would say yeah so far oh, think, oh. We, we have a, an appointment with this uh lady. oh so we actually really yeah. liked her so much that we just scheduled a virtual, virtual consultation with her and she's pretty booked up so we couldn't schedule it till next week but pretty we're looking forward to it so yeah, yeah i'm excited sweet yeah. well guys we would definitely recommend it i mean we feel good about it again it might not be something that is gonna you know like like billy said like from 